Here is an example of how this is done. This is the original image here in 2D. And then we perform 3D echocardiography and we are able to align the image plane so that we get a 3D reconstruction which looks like this. And then we can perform measurements where we are truly within the smallest orifice. So it would be easy to do this. In clinical practice, however, we do not use 3D echocardiography so frequently. Why is that so? Well, because many machines are not equipped with 3D yet and because we also have several limitations when it comes to 3D. Because we lose some quality, often it's more difficult to really get good image quality with 3D and many other limitations such as calcification of the valve and tachycardia still are a problem also for 3D echocardiography. Nevertheless, I think this probably has the edge, especially if we use a transesophageal approach because here we get even better image quality. And I think these images are very fascinating. Take a look at them. This is the view of the mitral valve as we're seeing it from the left atrium. You can see the orifice right here. You see also that the shape of the orifice is rounder than normally because we have commercial fusion. And it's nice also to perform at least, I would say, visual assessment, the size, but also to use special program which allow us to calculate the orifice area. Here is the same valve now looking from the left ventricle up to the mitral valve here into the left atrium. And again, we can see the doming and we can nicely appreciate the size of the orifice. 